he's working on an incredible amount of precognition. Are we having fun yet? I might be jumping the gun. I might be being a little crazy and hyperbolic, but at this point, I'm starting to believe that Brian Wright is playing chess while the rest of the NBA is playing checkers. He is making decisions that I did not see coming whatsoever. And I have to just sit back and say kudos to you because I feel as if Spurs fans as a whole have been a little too hard on Brian Wright when we haven't even been able to see what could come from some of the decisions he's made. And we're starting to see some of that genius that I did not see coming. Now, don't get me wrong, okay? Don't get me wrong. Uh, the Josh Primo thing, everyone was scratching their heads. I don't blame any Spurs fan for scratching their head on that one. I mean, when we got him, I was even like, wait, but we need a big, right? But even what we're seeing from him, yeah, he has a lot of potential. I mean, he instantly started getting comparisons to Kobe, at least in Spurs community. And yeah, I, I see it now. I see definitely the demeanor. And we think that, and we all believe that Josh Primo will eventually be that superstar. I've seen people like get onto Brian Wright for the Luka Samanich situation. And he didn't, he didn't even draft Luka Samanich. So that was a weird thing. But overall, yeah, I think he's been doing a pretty fine job. And this is just another example of him doing that so the spurs essentially i love this tweet by the way uh so the spurs essentially turned <clears throat> excuse me Bryn forbes into two second round picks basically i know he mentioned sadaransky but he, he's not gonna stay I, I don't believe um but into yeah uh two second round picks now i do believe i do believe i do declare sir that the spurs probably are going to take sadaransky along with um hopefully thad and move those two and get even more out of this deal and then you could even add on to what we got out of Brent Forbes but everyone scratched their head when we got Brent Forbes everybody I, I was like really we got Brent Forbes back I was cool with it but it was like really Brent Forbes and the fact that he signed for 4.5 million he had an enticing contract in which you could trade him anywhere and a team that wants to compete could use a Brent Forbes it's just brilliant like foresight like it's just amazing i just think that that's a really good move and i think that every single move that this man is making has been pretty pretty doggone great i'm just not gonna lie to you now here's the thing now brian wright sure you should be skeptical it's fine to be skeptical there's no problem in being skeptical like when he first took over everyone was like oh no you know rc buford has been the man for so long but i will say this the San Antonio Spurs are a championship franchise, whether people want to admit that or not. While we're losing, this is only temporary. The Spurs are going to get back to winning. If you look at the record uh, since the Spurs were in existence, they've been a winning team. Some people think that like, oh no, it happened right in 1999 and they started being great. No, the Spurs have always had a winning team type record they've always been successful they just didn't have a championship before then but they were always a winning franchise and i don't think that will change anytime soon and with that being said who you're going to hire matters and i would believe okay i would trust rc buford and popovich backing you know especially the general manager position backing him up is a sign that yes they hired the right guy for the job and that they're competent. We're not dealing with a franchise like the Sacramento Kings, okay? We're not incompetent. The Spurs know what they're doing. We have one of the best front offices in the NBA, period, okay? Point blank, period. So I believe that whoever they hire is going to be a decent hire at the least. Now, it's fine to be skeptical. It's fine to say, what are we doing? It, obviously there's been some setbacks and you know with the morris situation right um and people got upset about the berton situation i understand but that was kind of out of our control and that was very unprofessional on morris part on morris part i'm sorry but yeah but overall look this man is is doing a, a great job right now and i just want to say that look keep playing your chess while the rest of the nba is playing checkers i'm here for it i love it 
and I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna back them because right now i'm starting to see some good things and we'll just wait and see what happens next if you guys support the channel or want to support the channel i'm sorry all you have to do is become a patron youtube member only two dollars per month or you can subscribe like the stuff and all that good stuff also we're doing a trivia okay we're going to do a trivia prize at the end of the month i'm going to do that every single month okay before i was just doing giveaways now we're going to do trivia prizes last friday of the month for patron and youtube members i will send you guys out a link and you'll be able to compete in the trivia but if you want to know more about that you can just watch one of my previous videos honestly uh i just wanted to get straight into this one without even going into the trivia but look love you guys thank you so much i'll get with you later till next time deuces